Please subscribe and click the notification bell. Howdy everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Montana Drone. This is going to be a quick video from my Mavic Mini range test number two that I just posted today, which is Sunday, February 16th. I made this video as a special request for my buddy Dad Random. If you get a chance, check out his channel. He's got some great videos of the Mavic Mini and other drones that he owns. He saw my video today and he wanted to know what the flight conditions were. Um, so I went to airdata.com and uploaded the flight. Which if you have a chance, it's a great resource to see what's going on with your UAV. I'll put a link in the description uh, with Dad Random's channel. So I'm just going to briefly go over the information from the flight. Um, it was on January 19th of this year. It was at 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, in the Boulder Valley. And it's a pretty nice day for a change, so that's why I went for it. So right there it says that my flight time was 15 minutes and 34 seconds. Um, my takeoff battery was 96%. My max speed was 28.8 miles per hour. There is a slight deviation from what I showed on my app. It says here my maximum distance was 12,048 feet. And on my app it told me 12,060. Also in my video I posted that it was 38 degrees out. And according to this it was 34.8 degrees out. So I was flying southwest and the wind was actually coming in at 5.7 miles per hour northeast. Now to view the wind throughout your flight, you can upgrade to a more expensive plan. This is just a free version that I'm viewing. There's a lot to look at on this site. Um, I'm still learning my way around. But if you look down here, I'm going to sensors. And this brings up your signal strength map. As you can see, I had great signal because everything that's highlighted in green means you're good to go. Now to get all my flight data up here, I just downloaded the app and then uploaded everything from there. But as you can see, it goes over your controls. Um, it'll tell you if something's not reacting quick enough. As you can see here, my right turns respond faster for some reason. It'll even bring up a rudder map, show you your different movements. It even shows a battery analysis. Like here it tells me I can average 6.27 miles per battery. Also the minutes per battery. If you want to know exactly what your UAV is doing up there, um, you need to go to airdata.com. I mean, look at here, it even breaks down deviations and cells. The Mini has two cells in its battery. I was all good there. Breaks it down into graphs. Shows you a voltage drop map throughout the entirety of your flight. It even goes as far as to show your battery temperature over time. You even have the ability to download the KML file so you can go view it over in Google Earth. Once in Google Earth you can do a whole plethora of other things. Um, you can go down to Street View look at your flight path from different angles. It gives you a whole nother perspective on your flights. And there's a lot of other cool options in this program too. It also has an HD flight viewer. Um, this is really cool because you can go through and look at everything that came up while you were flying. From the different modes you switched to, your battery percentage, um, any tips that were popped up on your screen? Anyways, Dad Random, I hope this helped you out and anybody else out there that's having problems with their Mini or other UAVs. Good luck to you. Until next time, thanks for watching.